All right. Well, Happy New Year, everybody. And uh, right off the bat, I guess we got to say that the pea fish pulled it off. You know, since all of this nonsense started a while back, I thought, like, there is no way they will ever play a live show without a crowd. It's just, it's just never going to happen, man. They're a band that is fueled by a live audience, and uh, playing in an empty arena is just never going to happen. Well, just as things get crazier and weirder and you just kind of got to deal with it in the moment and uh, they did it tonight and really, wow, it didn't, I didn't, I didn't think it appeared to matter. You know, there was maybe a bit too much banter. They got a little too involved maybe with the comments and, you know, yeah, whatever was going on there, you know, that that's kind of, that was like, eh, that's cool that they were trying to keep the audience involved in some way, but... That nah, just seems like so 2020, man. Come on. Or was that? Was that? That was 2020, right? When that type of stuff was going on? I don't know. It just, all right. But anyways, they pulled that off. There was a bit too much of that. By, but by late in the show, they had enough of that. And uh, my God, by the time they got to that hairy hood, not to skip all the way to the end, you know. And I'll include the entire set list down below in the description. Kind of just go over the highlights here and more so just overall what it was like you know i mean this was a pretty big deal for them to play in an empty arena with no crowd it seemed like there were some wardrobe changes you know mike coming out looking a sharp dressed man as always and uh trey had a hoodie by the end it looked like he had maybe something that one of his kids made him or something kind of looked like one of them uh i don't know kind of looked a little homemade or something i don't know what was up with that thing um, let's see, Paige and Fishman, you know, they're, they're pretty standard. He had the standard uh, attire from those guys, of course. The whole New Year's Eve thing, you know, and I, this was one of the first years in a while where I wasn't in sync with the band on New Year's Eve. Uh, not that I was watching Seacrest and the boys or anything, but I was a little out of sync, you know, watching the, earlier on in the game, or early on in this first set, first part of the show, I was watching some of the college football games, so I got out of sync, was a little bit behind throughout the night. So, but when it got to New Year's Eve, you know, not that they, since they can't bring in a big army of people for some kind of big New Year's Eve presentation, we just got a quick little run into the traditional New Year's song from Everything's Right. Everything's Right had a decent, pretty, had a pretty good little jam to it. Of course, Down With Disease did as well. We got the YEM, you know, they couldn't sneak in all the Hall of Famers, but we did get a slave to the traffic light in the first set. Got a back-to-back -back free and ghost. And back, in fact, it was free, ghost, slave to the traffic light. Time turns elastic showing itself up you know and uh, that's when me and mary were listening to the show and watching the football game at that point and I, she got i got a huge reaction at a time turns elastic she's not familiar with that one at all and she was like asking me what the deal is and she was like oh so you don't like it it must suck and it's like oh it's not that it sucks man it just got really overplayed back you know when it was out when it was one of the fresh new songs off the hot new album well, here's a track off our new album time turns elastic from the b fish it seemed like every city got a time turns elastic. So look, if we're gonna get one a decade, I'm totally on board, I'll take that. Before the time turns elastic, we got a 46 days. Moba Dance and Tube starting out the show. Got a Sigma Oasis, Down With Disease did not open up the second set, although the Down With Disease was pretty thunderous. Sigma opens up, we got the Miss You in there, we got a Frankie Says It a Mercury. A hot possum and then life beyond the dream and then the second set no encore tonight with that hood one of the coolest parts though was the baby lemonade and then i saw online baby lemonade also known as grogu the uh fishman vacuum for that and he walks out into the crowd the crowd tonight was just a bunch of setup of cool looking lights and there it is out on the middle of the floor is the vacuum very good shot maybe one of the very best webcam uh couch tour shots we've ever got of old Henrietta up close there with the vacuum solo out on the floor amongst the imaginary people and then uh they pretty much wrap it up with hood after that we get a we get a hold your head up jam perhaps we got Trey and Fishman back there a little two-man gang bang going on and uh the hood absolutely proved they do not need a crowd because that thing was absolutely slaying. The Slave to the Traffic Light. Boy, I, I think it was, the, was it the Beacon Jams where Trey played a really nasty Slave to the Traffic Light. Slave to the Traffic Light might be made for an empty arena somehow. It's unbelievable. So, you know, I like, I'm going to probably have to give that free and go Slave. Give that another run. The Down with Disease was big. Big fucking Down with Disease. <laughs> All right, guys. Well... It's the end of the year. Happy New Year. Hope you had a great holidays, and uh, we are on to the next one. 2020, can you believe it is already 2022? It just seemed like the other day we were just like, oh, 2020, oh my God, everything. All these fucking jokes, and 
I don't know, man. 2021, while it was weird, we lost Norm McDonald. That sucked. We lost Betty White today. John Madden the other night. It's a tough year. But we still got the pea fish, and you still got this guy. Unfortunately, or fortunately, COVID's not going to get me. Look at this hair. You think COVID's going to... Uh, COVID might live in this hair. I don't know. I might want to go get this shit. I might still have the Delta in this hair. All right, guys. Boom. Love you. Happy New Year, and... Viva la Mexico or something.